Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. Blizzard's new tower defense game Warcraft Rumble is releasing globally this week and I'm already getting a lot of questions on okay, how will I spend money on this game to progress faster? Because with money, yes, you can progress much, much faster than free-to-play. Although I recently did a new free-to-play run in the game and it's not terrible free-to-play wise either. But if you want to spend money, how should you spend money on Rumble? The first and foremost thing that has to be mentioned is the Arclight Booster. This is offered to you once you reach 12 sigils in the campaign, so quite early on in the campaign, during your first evening of playing the game. And it costs 20 euros, permanent upgrade to your account, it gives you plus 20% experience earned and plus 50% coins earned. And those coins... The XP gain is actually of minor importance, but those coins really add up over a period of time. In fact, it's more than 30,000 coins during your first year of playing the game for 20 euros. So compared to regular prices in the shop, this is more than 10 times the value. There are no deals are even closely comparable to this one. However, if you want to spend more, you should try to avoid just buying things at list value whenever possible, because there are lots of time-limited bundles in this game and they are offered to you at regular intervals. The game will start offering those to you as you progress through the campaign, as you gain PvP ranks, as there's new seasons, as there's new dungeons. Whenever there is any kind of excuse to offer you a bundle, the game is going to offer you a bundle. But how to evaluate whether these bundles are worth it? I mainly evaluate the bundles based on the number of coins they give compared to the list prices of coins and the number of mini stars they give because the only way to get mini stars is to buy them from the grid so then when you get mini stars in bundles then that's the same as getting coins that you would have then spent on those minis so those are the main things i want from bundles xp tomes xp tomes can be useful later on if you really want to level up your army once you have some collection levels you have a pretty good collection already but if you get an xp tone very early in the game the xp is not very high because the xp tones give more xp once you have a better collection so an early xp tone is sort of wasted so i wouldn't value them much of anything at the start and i would still value them quite low even later on so it's mainly the coins and the minis and I'm going to show you a bunch of examples of what's currently being offered at various levels. For example, we have Horde pack or equivalent, something that you get offered very early in the game. I picked a Horde leader, so I'm getting offered a Horde pack. That's going to give me three common minis, no Grimage, the Frostwolf Shaman and the Warsong Raider. And each one of these, when bought from the grid, would cost 90 coins. So this is worth 270 coins, which is roughly $3 with the shop prices. So this is around one and a half times the regular shop value, and that's actually not very good value at all. The next bundle you're offered after you start the game is Hogger's Horde. Legendary value, 1500 coins, and then it has two megatomes. But megatomes, when you're offered this very early in the game, you don't have a lot of collection value yet. Those megatomes are actually really, really bad at that level, so I don't value them as much of anything. 1500 coins, that's worth around $12, so this is around 2.4 times the regular shop value. And this is about the level where most pretty good time-limited bundles land. We can see that the Ashenvale Cash is also of similar value. Ashenvale Cash, $7 for 2,000 coins. Then it gives you some tomes. This is also offered very early, so those tomes are not of very high value. So worth around $16, around 2.3 times the regular shop value. And if you start doing PvP, you climb some PvP ranks, you reach silver, you're offered the silver pack. Silver pack is 1,500 coins. Then it gives you some mini stars. So five leader stars, 10 troop stars. So if you would buy those from the grid that would be another 1500 coins so that's actually around 3000 coins of value so worth around 24 dollars 2.4 times the regular shop value these are the bundles that are quite okay if you if you're ready to spend this money and you're offered quite a few of them so if you plan to keep your overall spending within tens of dollars for this game then you don't have to pick anything you just can wait until you get one that offers something that really interests you a new Dungeon Week is also an excellent reason for Blizzard to give a bundle in the shop, like Blessing of Stormwind. 750 coins, then 9 leader stars, that's 1080 coins if you want those 3 leaders. So that's worth around $15, so only around 1.5 times the regular shop value. Not a great bundle at all. And another great reason to offer a new bundle in the shop is the start of a new PvP season, Season 1. 
Sylvanas, 1500 coins, 14 leader stars for Sylvanas with rare Sylvanas, 1680 coins from that. So this is worth around $26 for 15, so around 1.7 times the regular shop value. Which means that this isn't actually that great of a deal either, but of course Sylvanas not available commonly yet, so that's the quickest way to get your access to Sylvanas. And then there is the second most talked about bundle in the game behind that Arclight booster, that's Azeroth Riches, which are offered when you complete the regular campaign at 75 sigils. Azeroth Riches is 4500 coins, and then it offers you two mythic tomes and mythic tomes each have 11 pages so that's going to give you updates to 22 minis that's pretty sweet on my collection level and average level at the time i completed the campaign this would on average give me less than one level per mini but that's still like almost 20 ish levels overall so you may value that at something at that point already so that's worth around 37 dollars plus the tomes so if you only calculate the gold value, then that's only 1.8 times the regular shop value. If you value those tomes at the full price that they're sold for in the shop, then that would be around 2.6 times the shop value. So that would make this a pretty decent offer. But it really depends on how much you value getting some of that XP from the tomes. But the main thing that you want to look at is the coins and the minis that you get in the bundles. The tomes may become more valuable as you progress in the game and get further along so that the tomes will give you a lot more XP, but I still don't value them very high. Obviously, if you're really a big spender, then those tomes can also be of great value to you because you're aiming to get everything all the way to the max. So what you really want to buy if you spend money in this game is the Arclight Booster, because it's at least five times as good as any other offer in the entire shop. And beyond that, you look for those time-limited bundles, and depending on exactly how much you want to spend on this game, you may grab them all, or you may grab them somewhat selectively in order to optimize the use of your money. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members, and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.